My name is Garrett Omoto, and I, I've been teaching art here at HBA for, it's been over 30 years. I've, I've lost count after I hit 30. I started at the elementary school, taught there about 20 years, and I've been at the high school for the past 10 years. So I graduated in 1979, a long time ago. I started in seventh grade. I was at Mai Mai and we had moved, my brother and I, we had moved over to um, HBA's um, middle school campus and they were at the time Makiki Christian Church. I think all of my art teachers were most influential. And Mr. Kaneshiro, he, you know, I took all of the art classes from him and he was nice enough to make up a cla make up classes for me. He called it independent studies in art. One, one semester I made styrofoam models of Star Wars things like Star Wars ships and a Darth Vader mask. And I did a Conan the Barbarian mural uh, that's painted over, uh, it wasn't that good. And a Star Wars mural as well in the, um, on the first floor, also not that great, so painted over. <laughs> so I took art in, in college and graduated an art degree. I didn't know what to do with it. Um, got mar my wife and I got married. So I was um, working as a, in a temporary kind of a job. And my father, he said um, one thing, he, he said that, he said, you know, your cousin is, he, she knows this guy who works in animation and he's from Hawaii, he went to Kaiser. And he was looking at some of the work that I did and he said that, so oh, you can you can try yeah you can try you should try get a job you can draw and I tried and did not get in <laughs> and so I said I'm never gonna do this again I'm not I'm never gonna put myself out and then there was a little bit of, of time um, in between where I was kind of thinking about it and so, you know I'm, I should try it, it shouldn't just be one one failure and out and so I tried at another um, a couple other studios and and took a test at one and, and got a job. So, and really blessed by it because I got to draw every day. You know, drawing all that time, it, it taught me a lot. And um, so currently, you know, we had moved back, got the job in teaching. And teaching is great because in the summers, I've been able, I've, I've been blessed to have the opportunity to illustrate children's books and which requires quite a bit of time and I've done um, several children's books so it's, it's really been nice, a nice profession for, for that kind of work. I think HBA's influence was more when I came back it, because it's like I'm looking at it through a different set of, set of eyes that it's um, of, of maturity I would say because back, back then I must say that I was just I was lost, you know, um, not being a Christian, no purpose. I became Christian my second year in, in college, but, uh, but at least it, it will, HBA was in the picture and, and that spiritual notion was in the picture. It wasn't like it was, you know, I, I didn't have anything to turn to. Turn to. And so actually the Ranchi era, um, he was my Sunday school teacher. Uh, so when I was having some uh, major problems and really really searching, uh, went to go talk with him. And he and, and his wife, Cindy, were big, big reasons why I, I became a Christian. Um, he, he had been saying that, um, that they were praying for me. Sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that, you know, just that, um, that kind of a, um, demonstration, I'll say, was was critical, I think, for me becoming a, a Christian and, and helping helping me sort out things. Mm -hmm.